Ready to kickstart your cloud career with AWS? Becoming an AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is a good start. This foundational certification covers essentials of cloud services, making it perfect for anyone looking to get into tech or expand their skill set. In this video, I'll walk you through the key tools and strategies that I use to pass this exam on the first try. If you're getting this certification for career growth, watch to the end of this video. I'll show you what I did after passing this certification to show my new knowledge to my employers. First, we're going to go through a little bit of overview of the actual exam. AWS does a really good job of bringing all the research together and giving you all the information that you need in order to understand what you need to do in order to pass the exam. This is the actual overview page for the exam. As you can see, this is AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. It validates the foundational high-level understanding of AWS cloud services and terminology. It's a good starting point on the AWS certification journey for individuals with no prior IT or cloud experience, switching to cloud career or for a line of business employees looking for foundational cloud security. Just to say that this is a foundational certification where you're going to get a broad understanding of the actual AWS cloud. A brief exam overview gives you a 90-minute exam 65 questions it costs about hundred dollars which isn't too bad definitely less than time tia now like i said they give you everything that you need to kind of prepare for this exam so if you scroll down a little bit further you'll see prepare for exam they give you step-by-step -step guide in order to help you prepare this is a strategy that i use to actually prepare for the exam and pass my first time honestly you can review the exam guide just to know a little bit about it i wouldn't go too deep with that we'll come back to this official practice test question set and then we'll come back to these as well but first I skipped straight to step three and went to the AWS prep standard course, AWS certified cloud practitioner. I already have a tab open here. First, you kind of get to know the exam. I'm not going to go through that. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then they have some get to know style questions, which is the main thing that I started with on my journey to understanding and studying for this exam. I have a video for you, the questions, instructions for the questions. And then these are the actual questions um, they give you. There's about 20 questions here. And I obviously just use this to get a benchmark of where I was with understanding all the information. I honestly got like two or five questions out of 20 on this. This really told me that I needed to study a lot. After completing the practice set questions, then you can go to learn about exam topics and the AWS training recommendations. These are the trainings that actually got me up to speed to feel more confident to take the official practice test. The AWS Cloud Practitioner Essentials, which we kind of started on the first page, AWS Technical Essentials, this is definitely something we want to take. And getting started with AWS Cloud Essentials, that's something you definitely want to take. They kind of get redundant, but which is fine because you want a little bit of redundancy in your AWS Cloud. <laughs> But you also want redundancy in the information so that it helps it stick more. After you go through those, don't necessarily worry about the AWS cloud. We're going to talk about that in a minute. After you go through the actual learnings, the training to understand the information more, what you want to do is you want to take the official practice test, which can be found on the overview page all the way at the bottom. Number four, assess your exam readiness. Now, this test is not free. It comes with a subscription of maybe about $30 a month, I think. It's definitely worth it. You shouldn't let $30 hinder you from figuring out what you need to know in order to pass this exam or honestly pass any exam and get knowledge that you need in order to advance in your career. This is the testing environment. I've already taken the test. I've passed it, this practice test. So I'm just going to go through what the strategies that I use and pull from out of it. After you take it, it allows you to see if you passed or didn't pass. I think this is my second attempt that I'm showing here. So I passed this one. It gave me confidence to schedule my test before going to study further. The great thing about the actual test, the practice test, it allows you to take it, view your passing score or non-passing score, then give you the ability to look at the question that you got right and the question that you got wrong. We want to focus on the question that you got wrong. Now we're going to look at this question here, which I got wrong. We're going to review it. At the bottom, they give you that, okay, you got it wrong. They gave you your answer and they gave you the correct answer. 
What I love about this and what is similar to the Cert Master Practice Tool that I used with Security Plus, it gives you information on why you got the answer wrong. And then it also gives you why the other answer is correct, which is right here. It gives you why the other answer is correct. Now, after you go through all the ones that you got right, all the ones you got wrong, and you understand why you got them wrong, then you want to go back to the prep course, what I was showing you with that gave you the recommendations to actually begin your studying. You want to go to prepare for exam, and then it actually goes through the actual domain topics. This way, you already have some knowledge, and then this section is just going to be basically review for you. And it gives a little bit deeper detail, just specifically for the test. However, I find that this is what helped me achieve a higher score on the second practice test that I took and give me that confidence to take the test and pass it on the first try. If you're finding this video valuable, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I do weekly videos like this on my cybersecurity journey to help you succeed in your so after you've gone through and you've already passed your test, the thing that you want to do now is you want to go and circle back and do Cloud Quest. Now, what is Cloud Quest? Cloud Quest is like a gamified version of labs for AWS. The labs allow you to get actual hands-on experience with AWS, usually using the management console. As you go through each lab, what I did was I made sure that I took screenshots and I documented everything to go into my my tech portfolio. So I don't only have the actual certification, but I also have the knowledge stored somewhere that I actually have the ability to use the application. I made a tutorial on how to actually set up your GitHub repository for your tech portfolio and put projects into it. If you're looking to do that, to stand out from the crowd in order to be a better candidate in the job market, watch this video.